Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. I used to think fit people had amazing willpower, maybe even superpowers. They always, I was thinking that they always showed up to crush their workouts. No problem. Uh, they were always motivated and always on point with their nutrition, and they, they never craved those cupcakes or the pizza. But what I learned through my own experience over the years was that fit people just had a different way that they went about their thinking when it came to health and fitness. They still had pizza, they, if they wanted it, of course. <laughs> uh, they, they, they still struggled with motivation, and mo most of them that I talked to, uh, they had busy schedules. So let's talk about how fit people think. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, the power of possibility, passion, and purpose. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in here. In this episode, you're going to learn some of the most common unstoppable mindsets and ways of thinking that fit people use to be successful. Um, and, and, and please use any of these to transform the, your health and your quality of life. But before I dig into all that goodness, I want to thank you so much for tuning in here, whether this is the first time that you've been on Power Blast Podcast, or if you are a regular listener, thanks so much for being here. If you are listening in your podcast app, please be a friend, drop in, leave an honest rating and review that helps others discover the, discover the show. And if you are, are over on the YouTube channel, I'm waving at you, um, please be an awesome friend. Smash the subscribe button and the notifications bell. That way you won't miss a show. And it'd be super crazy awesome if you hit the like button, dropped in a comment. I do reply to those. Uh, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Creates a great conversation with you and me. And uh, we can move forward and be all one big happy family, right? You absolutely, absolutely rock, my friend. So how fit people think. I didn't even consider this when I was beginning. Um, I, I just assumed that they just like they just decided they just did it, um, and I'm sure there's many many ways of thinking uh, as one progresses on their fitness journey, and they, they probably change things along the way as you learn different things. But for years, I, I failed over and over, and I wondered why can't I make this like a routine? Why can't I make it stick? Why can't I stick with my plan, you know, and reach my goals? Then I decided to kind of flip things around, and I worked on my mindset. And over the years, doing podcast episodes and interviews like this and um, the books that I've read, articles, uh, along with my personal experience, um, learning ways that we can change our thinking and, and, and really use it to turn around our health and fitness. Now... You know, as you may have guessed, you know, fit people, they prioritize their health and fitness uh, and they make the time for exercise, even though they might have a busy life. You know, a lot of us, we wear that busyness on, on our, you know, right here uh, as a badge of honor. It's like, I'm so busy. Uh, but they, they prior, prioritize it. Um, they eat so they can fuel their body most of the time. I'm sure enjoying the pizza, cupcake, beer, whatever it is, uh, happens, but they they focus on those things so where they're not just eating to live, but they're um or they're not uh, they're eating to fuel their body and to live, but not just living so they can just eat all the time, right? Um, committing to their fitness, no know, knowing that it's going to give them a better quality of life, a longer, a, a lot more longevity of life, and so um, because if you get this mindset stuff right, then all the exercise and the nutrition, that stuff locks into place. Um, it's usually the stuff going on between our ears that uh, uh, has us get distracted, fall off track, et cetera, and then we justify things or blame things and point the finger. So uh, that's that's part one of the things I put together for my clients is using mindset, psychology, brain hacks to break the habits so you can live healthy and fulfilled without falling back into the old habits again. So... How can we think better thoughts when it comes to getting fit? Well, here, here's some fitness mindsets for you. I've, I've alluded to this already, but it's make time. Or you could even say this to yourself. I make time for fitness and nutrition, not find the time. 
Okay. Successfully fit people, they're actually making the time, prioritizing it um, each each several times each week on a consistent basis. Uh, they may vary up the workouts and things that they do, but they show up. They make the time. They don't try to when am I going to fit this in? When am I going to squeeze this in and then get distracted and then push it off to the next day? Um, if you want to be a better, better parent, get in your exercise. Uh, want to be better in your career or more productive? Get in your exercise. Um, do you want to um, have more energy in your day or, or really improve with the hobbies that you're interested in? Exercise. So many other benefits to exercise. You could just about insert. If you want any sort of life improvement thing, exercise is going to be, be uh, should be a part of that. Um, uh, another mindset. I keep promises to myself. Now, are you a person of your word? You know, a lot of times people are, will give the knee-jerk reaction and go, well, of course I'm a person of my word. My word is gold, you know, whatever. But if, um, are you keeping promises to yourself because that's a that's a big thing you want want to do. Like the big promise, are is the reason why you want to get healthy and fit in the first place. What's that deep reason why? It's probably not to lose the thirty pounds or to to fit into the skinny jeans. It's it's probably deeper than that, more than that. So you've got this big promise to yourself, you know. So you've got that big promise, that big goal. Are you pushing for it? Because you you said I want this, I desire this. And then there's the. The smaller promises, the day-to-day things, uh, the day-to-day promises each week and following through and getting your workouts in and doing your, your meal prepping and eating healthy mo- most of the time, right? Um, it's, it's choosing the healthy foods when possible. Not canceling on yourself when there's a distraction or when something else comes up because you make the time, right? If you make the time, you're, you're not going to cancel and you're showing up, you know, when it comes to your own fitness. So I, even when life gets busy, you know, are you putting yourself off? Are you saying things like, well, I'll, I'll start Monday. No, I'll start next month. I'll start next year. Right now, we're coming toward the end of the month. We're still a week away, and I'm talking to people about their fitness goals right now, and they're already putting it off to the next month and the next Monday, which you can see there's a there's a pattern there. All of a sudden, it's going to be next year, not keeping your word to yourself. It's so easy to kind of push ourselves aside and make ourselves the bottom of the list when it comes to our, the, making ourselves a priority, but you got to stop that way of thinking. Because life is not going to just magically align for you. Um, you know, a lot of times people seem like they're waiting for the planets to align before they start their fitness. Everything's got to be perfect and in line, you know, or, or they'll, they'll say things like when the kids go back to school, you know, it'll be easier. When, it, when, when it's summer, I'll have more time. Or when, when I retire, I'm close to retirement. When I retire, I'll have all this time. And there's always going to be things that jump back in there. So instead, you've got to turn around and just make it easier for yourself to put yourself first, to make yourself a priority so that you can be your best self to others. You know, making time. You say, I make time for me. I get get in my workouts. I eat healthier. I, I, I take better care of myself. Okay. Can you see that way of thinking? Next mindset. Exercise gives me energy and makes me feel good. Now, I know there's a knee-jerk reaction because you aren't actually having this mindset yet, but there's a knee-jerk reaction from from several people I've talked to that says, oh, my gosh, working out is boring. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me sore. And, 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 and yeah, there, there's probably some uncomfortable stuff, but soreness, I mean, that's just like proof you, you put in some good exercise there um, and, and that you're doing the body good because you're going to be making some changes. And when you go through changes, you get a little sore. But making you feel good afterwards, you know, the things that bring meaning to life and purpose and fulfillment, you know, and and abundance and gratitude, having more energy allows you to do more things. So choose exercise to make you feel good. This is the mindset I'm telling you about. The the fit people are having this mindset. They're not looking at, oh, I'm I'm dreading this workout. I don't want to do it. It's boring. I'm resisting. No. They're like, I'm striving for that feel good factor because it helps me, helps me be happy, healthy, fulfilled, more productive, happy, and focused. I said happy twice. Maybe there's two happies in there. Um, 
another mindset. And I've told you this before, if you've ever listened to any of my past podcasts, progress over perfection. You know, a lot of times we, we're, we've got this all or nothing mindset. If we can't do it right, can't do it perfect, we quit. But there is no failing. It's just, it, it's kind of like a, a, a flight that's going across from, let's say, L.A. to New York. It goes off course a little bit. and You just keep adjusting and move forward. You'll get to your destination. As a matter of fact, when it comes to health and fitness stuff, it doesn't even need to be a destination. It just needs to be like, hey, I, I'm, I'm constantly going. I'm constantly uh, evolving and improving. But course correct, correcting along the way. You know, everybody faces challenges at some point. Um, and, and, and things try to derail the fitness, you know, whether it's aches and pains. That it, maybe you had kids. Or you've got holidays, vacations. Maybe it's uh, an illness of some sort. There was a wedding. You know, work got busy. Whatever it is, things try to challenge our, our fitness. But it's... How you respond to that and bouncing back, that's the big factor for you. Striving for progress, not perfection. You know, that's a big part of the thinking, realizing that there isn't this finish line on this on this journey. You know, it this is this is lifelong stuff. Constantly, you know, life it, it's constantly challenging us. There's the things are constantly changing. And we need to have this mindset and make this. This is ongoing. It's an ongoing process of learning, growth, uh, constant improvement, and, and evolution along the way. Next mindset. I give myself grace. Now, a lot of times people don't do this. They beat themselves up, but you got to have grace in your life. You know, Let yourself off the hook when things aren't going the way that you want them to go. If you miss a workout, give yourself grace. Don't put so much pressure on yourself because that wastes energy. It's really wasted energy. Beating yourself up. It's low energy vibes like uh, shame and guilt that get in there. Seriously, it's forgiving yourself, moving forward. That's going to help you go farther, faster. So strive for consistency when you can. Always keep moving forward. You might have some side trips along the way and you know if you're like the plane analogy i was giving you before maybe the plane has to divert around some clouds maybe it has to divert for to another city refuel up and and keep going but it it reaches it reaches the place it wants to go just know that you are in control keep it simple take action no matter what and be persistent to reach your goals by progressing through all circumstances choose to give up the excuses, the alibis, rewrite the limiting beliefs that you might be having in your head, whether it's comparing yourself, I don't have time, all or nothing mindset sort of stuff, and choose to figure out new ways to look at possibilities, learn, grow, keep moving forward, because you're going to start to have wins, and those wins are going to add up more and more and more, and they're going to help you build your confidence, consistency, that's going to be, that's going to be your friend, so keep challenging yourself. So I'd love to hear your top takeaway from this one. You could drop me a line on social or email me at periodputyourselffirst.com. Um, if you type in the word game plan in subject line, I'll help you map out uh, a drop 30, 30 pounds in 90 days game plan for yourself. Absolutely free. Um, because I do. I help you go in, audit your current health and fitness so that you can have the perfect game plan to create momentum even faster. And I just love helping people remove the obstacles or at least figure out how to navigate the obstacles and the barriers that often get in the way of the fitness goals. And if you'd like more motivation, support, tips, and strategies, then consider joining my Upside Down Fitness community. We're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. And I do 52 weeks of free coaching in there. I pop in resources, guides, and I even do the occasional masterclass absolutely free. And I'm think you'll absolutely love it head over to upsidedownfit.com you get all the details there that's all i have for this week thanks so much for tuning in i appreciate you please share with somebody that you know could benefit subscribe and leave an honest rating and review in your podcast app so others discover this show and if you're over on youtube catching the video version please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll get alerted each time a new show drops you absolutely rock my friend that's all i have for this week and as always remember It's never too late. We'll see you next week.